Welcome to Plugins Worth Plugging In. This is the weekly podcast brought to you in part by WPTrainingVideos.com. Now, this week is actually our first podcast, and I thought it was probably wise to dedicate this week's podcast to plugins that are featuring WordPress security. Security is always in the news, and WordPress is constantly in this cat and mouse game to sort of make sure that they're on the cutting edge of security, but as soon as they do, there's hackers right there improving their game as well. So when it comes to security, think about it like this. If you have a door and you do not lock it, it's unsecure. If you put a lock on it, it's considered secure, but honestly, if somebody wants to get in, they're still going to get in even with a great lock. So when it comes to WordPress on your own site, if you're thinking, you know, I'm probably not going to get hacked, what's the point? Well, the point, to be honest, partially is a challenge for the hacker. And if it's out there and it's unsecured, it's like leaving an open door. So the least you could do is lock your doors and make it slightly difficult for somebody to break in and maybe move on to something that's an easier hack. There are a number of plugins that can help with this, and I'm going to kind of cover a few for you to get started. Now, all of these plugins, you'll see the links in the show notes below. Um, the first one I want to cover is one called WP Malwatch. That's WP M A L W A T C H, WT Malwatch. And what it does is scan your WordPress blog nightly for malware. Now this is important for a couple of reasons. One is malware is just bad and it's nasty and you don't want it on your blog. But the second reason is if Google sees that your site is infected with malware, it's going to warn people to not visit your site. So better that you find out about it before Google does and start telling all of your visitors about it. Now this plugin is again fairly easy to install. It is free. When you jump into it, you can take a look at some of the screenshots and it'll give you a basic summary of your WordPress security. Now, the one thing I do not like about this particular plugin is that it is a little old. The last update, according to WordPress.org, was September of 2010. And when it comes to security plugins, that really is a little old. However, I really do like the concept of WP Malwatch. And if you are unable to install any other security plugins, I would recommend at least having something like this. Our next plugin is one called Better WP Security. Now, this particular plugin kind of moves it up a notch. Whereas WP Malwatch really just sort of scanned your system and said, hey, here are certain areas you might want to take a look at. This particular plugin will actually go into your installation and adjust certain settings. That's good and it's bad. It's better to use plugins, in particular this one, when they're when it's a brand new site when you've just started your wordpress site if you have a site that's been around for a while and it's got lots of pages and posts and links it's probably not going to be your best plugin unless you really want to spend some time tweaking it and the reason i say that is because this particular plugin which again this is a great idea this particular plugin will go in and adjust your wp-content directory. Whereas WordPress, as you know, when it goes in, it sort of stores everything under wp-content. And if everybody in the world is doing that, it's pretty easy to guess where your content is stored. Now, if you change that directory, it makes it a little bit harder to find that information. And this plugin will do that amongst other things. The problem is if you already have a blog with lots of content, it doesn't go back and change all the other links you have. It'll only change it for future links. And so you've kind of got a situation where it may break a lot of links on your particular site. And again, it's fine if this is something that you're comfortable going in and tweaking and playing with. Maybe it's a plugin to take a look at. If you have a brand new site and you're just starting and you want something kind of quick and easy and that'll do the security basics, Better WP Security might be the best one for you. Another nice thing about this particular plugin is that it is updated fairly regularly. The last time it looks like was May 25th, 2011, and it is compatible with the most recent version of WordPress, which is 3.2.1. Next on our list is actually a couple of security plugins. Now, both of these are by the same author, WebsiteDefender.com, and they kind of work in tandem. Um, WP Security Scan actually goes through and works similar to what WP Malwatch does, maybe just a little bit more in-depth, and more importantly, 
updated a lot more regularly. And that's one thing I really do like about this particular plugin. So if you're looking for a really good scanning plugin that won't necessarily change anything, but will suggest things that you should change, WP Security Scan might be the way to go. It was last updated July 20th, 2011. So as of this recording, that was just days ago. Uh, obviously, it's compatible up to 3.2.1. And again, what it will do is it'll scan your site and it will show you what might be worth taking a look at. Maybe you've got um, some HT access files need to adjust. Maybe you don't have some HT access files where you should. This will go through and suggest some of those changes. The other plugin by Website Defender was uh, also updated recently. It was updated July 21st of 2011. And again, as of this recording, that was just days ago. So this is also kind of on the cutting edge and constantly updated. This is Secure WordPress. Again, the plugin name is Secure WordPress. And don't worry if you don't get all of the names because we will have links in the show notes to each one of these plugins. The difference between WP Security Scan and Secure WordPress is Secure WordPress will actually go in and adjust some things on your website. Now remember, this is good and this could be bad. It sort of depends how much stuff you already have. If you have a fairly simple website, um, and not a lot of content, or more importantly, not a lot of complicated plugins, such as maybe membership site software, uh, maybe some themes that are overly complicated and really in depth. Some of those may not work properly with a plugin like this. And this goes for all plugins that you have on this show or otherwise. Always make sure you have a backup of your website before you install a plugin that can go and sort of play around with your settings, such as these security plugins. Make sure you've got a backup first because if something happens and it breaks your site for whatever reason and you can't get it back, at least you've got that backup that you made 10 or 20 minutes before you installed the plugin. And you can just go back and overwrite the changes. It'll make it like the plugin was never there. But you can't do that if you don't back up. So the moral of the story is back up. Our final plugin for episode number one of the Plugins Worth Plugging In podcast is Bulletproof Security. Now, Bulletproof Security is a really in-depth plugin. It's been tested a lot. It's been tested against a, most of the main plugins that are out there, though there is always a chance, again, always, always a chance that a plugin will conflict when it comes to any security plugins, well, any plugins for that matter, but specifically security plugins because they do go in and adjust some settings. This plugin was most recently updated publicly June 9th, 2011, according to wordpress.org. Though I know for a fact that this particular author is working on an upgrade for this because I've actually emailed uh, and gone back and forth over email a few times with this particular author. He really, really enjoys working on security issues. Um, you can tell he's sort of got a passion for it, and I, and I really do like that. I, I want to definitely support this plugin. When you initially set this up, this probably is one of the more in-depth plugins to set up. It's important that you go slow when it comes to setting this plugin up. The first thing you're going to want to do is back up everything again, just like you do with any plugin, and specifically security plugins. Back up your WordPress site just in case. And when you go through, he's going to ask you to back up certain aspects of your what they call HT access files. And once you've got that done, then you're going to go in and you're going to selectively sort of activate the security and modules as you go through. He also has as part of this plugin uh, security scan status, which will basically when you click on a tab, it'll show you here are the parts that are protected currently. Here are the parts that are not. It will go into additional modules. Um, he's got some ability to update. He's got a little journal for you uh, in there. And there's also what they call BPS Pro, which is Bulletproof Security Pro. I know that this particular module he doesn't have out yet. He should probably by August of 2011. Um, but this is a plugin that's going to be about 25 bucks to upgrade, and it will go into a little more detail and a lot more support if you need it. So this may be the plugin that you want to look at if you do have a lot of complicated issues, if you have a really mature website and you need that additional support to make sure that you've got your security layers correct. Just working with this guy a little bit here and there through email, he really does want to make sure that this plugin's working well for you. And that's pretty much the basics of Bulletproof Security. It's a great plugin now. I think the paid version is actually going to get even that much better but you don't have to have the paid version. I want to emphasize that. This plugin works completely on its own. It's just a couple of enhancements as far as support if you want them that you can get. But 
on its own, this is a fantastic plugin. Again, bulletproof security. I hope you enjoyed this episode number one of Plugins Worth Plugging In. This is brought to you by WPTrainingVideos.com. And if you happen to be new to WordPress, or if you want to learn just a little bit more than the basics, we've got some great free training videos. And believe it or not, our membership is free. All you need to do is go to WPTrainingVideos.com and you can sign up for your free membership. Thanks again for listening. We appreciate any comments and positive reviews that you have. We'll see you next week.